This will be a quick video on how to set up WAN management and to manage our device through the WAN by setting up a firewall filter. Specifically, I want to talk about limiting this management access to a specific IP address, in this case 100.0.0.1. So I have another video about this that focuses more on the browser configuration. This, fo this example focuses completely on configuring this device through the command line. So uh, a scenario that you might want to use this, let's say we have a lot of uh, branch offices or we manage a lot of small business clients that have edge routers sitting at the WAN site and we want, want to manage them all through their WAN interface 2001 in this case. We could use some SSL VPN connection and connect through the device and then manage it through the in internal interface. We could RDP into some hosts and manage it from there. However, we can also open up this external interface to management traffic such as HTTPS and SSH. So once you do this, of course, you open up um, a lot of attack possibilities on this device because basically anyone with an internet connection will be able to reach this web page. So we want to limit it down. We want to limit it down to a specific interface. We want to limit it down to a specific IP address, in this case, 100.0.0.1. We only want this host to be able to connect to the web interface. And we can optionally change the HTTPS and SSH ports to something other than the default values to 22 and 443. And we want to apply our firewall rule in the local direction. That's also in and out. I speak a lot about this in my other uh, firewall uh, videos. But in and out basically apply to traffic going through the device. Local means to the actual interface. So if I ping this address from the outside, uh, that is in the local direction. So let me first set up a baseline. I'm sitting at 100.0.0.1 and I should be able to ping 2.0.0.1. That is working just fine and I will be, I am able to reach the device and also management. So this is basically what I'm going to configure in this example. This default WAN to LAN rules already been set up. So let me go to the shell and show you. If I do configure and I do a show firewall, I can see that this rule is already set up. We also already have a Ning WAN to LAN, which basically allows established and related traffic. So basically everything from inside to out is allowed and return traffic is allowed as well. However, traffic initiated on the outside is blocked. So I'm going to set up a WAN management filter. What am I going to call it? MGMT. Default action will be drop. I have a description in here that's not really required. It's going to accept, however, description SSH 9222 on port 9222. So I've already changed my uh, port. So if I do show service, I've already changed my HTTPS port 9443 and SSH port 9222. So that is not really required, it is optional. However, if you change it, you have to change it in the firewall rule as well. So we have a destination port 9222 and we have a source address 100.0.0.1. So we do not have a destination address and we do not have a source port. So that is basically all you have to configure and this rule only differs in the port 9443 instead of 9222. So let me paste this rule in and I can go on to the next step. So there we go. If I go to the top and let me apply this to an interface, because if you don't apply it to an interface, it's not really doing anything. And it will start complaining at me that this configuration already exists because I already added this rule previously. So we can also limit it down to a specific listen address. So let's say we only want to listen for HTTPS traffic on a specific interface that is associated with this address. We can do this here. So if you don't want your internal users to manage the device or even reach the website, web page, you can remove that and just have WAN access. However, in this case, I'm just going to leave it as it is. So let me go back to the top and commit this. And once this is committed, I'm going back to operational mode. And if I could do a show firewall statistics, we should have some hits on this rule. So our default action is dropped. So let's see if some packets are coming in. So we have six packets over here. So if I go back to my ping and run this ping again, now it should be timing out. And we should see this, this packet count increasing, so 7, 8, and so on. So that basically means that our firewall rule is filtering properly. At least it is dropping things. So now we're going to make sure if it's actually accepting things. So let me start with SSH. So I have PuTTY over here. I'm going to 2001, the WAN interface on port 922. So if I open this, I, I get my login prompt. So I can go dpin, password and I'm on the device. And if I do a show firewall statistics, I can see I have some hits on this rule. So th that means that I'm, some packets have been accepted and this rule is working. 
that's right the other rule HTTPS so let me go to my browser so this just configuration has been changed please refresh the page okay thank you very much so I want to go to HTTPS 2001 and for port 9443 and this should be working I should land on the page on this tab I'm logged in uh, using the LAN interface that's why this is working in any case so but this is the one we're interesting interested about 2001 so to do a show file statistics again I get some hits on this rule because web traffic generates a lot more packets than SSH so we can see that this rule is working as well so let me prove that let me go to network connections and I have my adapter here which is sitting at 100.0.0.1 let me change that to I don't know 99 okay let me minimize this and let's start another putty session so let me minimize this as well so I'm going to create a new session and I'm going to go to 2001 again for 9222 and now it should not allow me uh, to log in because I am not in the trusted IP list if you want to call it that so the same will be true for this let me copy this and open up a new session or a new tab and now it's timing out as well because it is not allowing me and I should get some hits on this drop rule so before it was at 22 packets and now it is at 40 and probably going up so that is basically how you set up a firewall filter to manage the device through the WAN and limit it down to a specific IP address of course this can be spoofed uh, some hacker if they know your IP address or uh, find out in, in some manner then they will be able to change their IP address to that and they will be able to land on the device however with this type of configuration we limit down the access uh, in my opinion in a very good manner so you want to optionally change these ports if you want to and just remember that you want to apply the rule in the local direction that's basically it thank you for your time